Welcome to the Discover Workday at UChicago tutorial on viewing costing allocations in Workday. Costing allocations determine which FAS accounts and FAS subaccounts fund compensation within Workday and are required for all employees who receive compensation through Workday payroll. You'll remember from the Workday Core Concepts video that every worker must sit in a position or chair. Only one default FAS account and one FAS subaccount can be assigned to each position. This serves as a required default layer of costing allocations. As a default, this is not intended to be the account used for payroll. The business process to assign costing allocations requires users with specific roles to override those existing default accounts. There are three levels upon which costing allocations may be assigned within Workday. First is at the worker level, which is default funding required by Workday but never used to pay an employee. The second required level is assigned at the worker and position level. Once a worker is placed into a position, this is when actual costing allocations will be assigned and from which workers will be paid. At this level, you can also adjust distribution percentages if a worker's compensation is funded from multiple accounts or establish start and end dates if you know in advance when a worker's funding will change. Lastly, costing allocations can also be assigned at the worker, position, and earning level. This allows dedicated FAS accounts and FAS subaccounts to be assigned to specific earnings within the employee's compensation package, such as administrative supplements and term allowances. If assigning funding to this level, it needs to be done before the rest of a worker's compensation is assigned to the worker and position level. Costing allocations can be viewed for specific individuals or in report format. Next, we will demonstrate how to navigate both of these views within Workday. First, let's view costing allocations through the individual worker profile. Use the search field to navigate to the supervisory org where your worker is located. Click on the Members tab and select the appropriate worker. As a reminder, you can also navigate directly to the worker by typing their name into the search bar. Select the Pay tab to review costing allocations for this worker. Here we can see his costing allocations and the dates for which they are valid. We can view his costing allocations at the worker and position level, as well as his costing allocations at the earning level for both a 9 over 12 earning and administrative supplement. In the far right column, you can see the distribution percentages for each of these. Next, let's view worker costing allocations in a report. Note that a link to the full listing and most up-to-date guide to reports will be provided at the end of this video and will also be available on workday.uchicago.edu. To search for a report, navigate to the search bar and type in the specific report or phrase related to reports you wish to view. In this demonstration, I'm going to enter costing allocation into the search bar. Here you will see a listing of available reports and tasks related to costing allocations. I'm going to select the RPT Worker Costing Allocation Details Report. Note that this and all other reports you have access to will only return details for supervisory organizations for which you are responsible. We can now view costing allocations for our workers. This report can be exported to Excel and can also be filtered. Note that for Dylan Crowley, his costing allocation at the worker and position level is distributed amongst five accounts, each of which has a dedicated row and distribution percentage in the report. Also note that the first column, Costing Override, lists the level associated with the specific allocation. So for example, we can see Robert Park has costing overrides associated at the earning level for his administrative supplement and 9 over 12 earning. Robert also has a period activity pay assignment that is funded uniquely. The remainder of Robert's compensation is paid from the FAS account that is assigned to the worker and position level. Additional resources on discovering Workday at UChicago can be found at workday.uchicago.edu. The reporting section of workday.uchicago.edu will provide specific reports related to costing allocations.